This is concrete. If you've ever been outside, you know it's incredibly strong, but also incredibly cracky and breaky. What if I told you we can make it springy and that you're about to see something that no one has ever seen before? Don't fact check that. I'm gonna go get some from my driveway really fast. Uh, quick Crete, are your courts bigger than my courts? Concrete time. Nice. All right, we'll see how that looks tomorrow. Okay, so we're gonna do a little tester piece in the corner, and if all goes well, we'll do the big boy in the center. This is also a lot thicker than it probably should have been. The tile video was the thickness of tile. Three quarters inch, now we're at an inch and a half. So uh, pretty much the same thing. Yeah, same thing. Not too bad. Well, huh. We got a good cross section though. Zoinks. That is brittle. Brutal. Well, well that uh, stayed together and it is. Oh. <clears throat> Zoinks. On this episode of Will It Stick? Not on that wall. <laughs> We're going to try a big boy with a one inch gap between each line and see what that does. Okay, now I gotta be really careful with this. Oh, Yeah, this is so brittle. Ooh, that's not flexible at all. Yep, yep. <laughs> we need a much thinner piece of concrete. On this episode of the world's brittlest material. Okay. All uh, right. Oh, little things, look how they go. <laughs> So our hypothesis is the rocks are causing the breakage. So maybe let's try again with smaller rocks or no rocks in our cement. Then it might not technically be cement. It would then be... Uh... No, it wouldn't be concrete, it would be cement. Yeah! We're gonna try sifting out the biggest rocks and replacing them with a little bit of gravel that's smaller. Very small rocks! Well, I'm not gonna lie, the rocks were a lot smaller than I thought. That's about the same size as the gravel I bought, so it would be pointless to add that back in. So we might just see what it does when there's not as much gravel in it. Well, uh, I have no idea what amount of concrete this is. Also got this concrete fortifier. It's the opposite of James Bond. Stir gently, but do not shake. Shake, not stir. Okay, that's looking pretty good. It's probably a little under a half inch thick. Here goes the mesh. Oh, I'm a doofus. I fit this to the square before I added the sides on it. All right, that's fitting in there nicely. Time to add layer two. Reciprocating saw. I hardly know her. Well, that's about as level as I can get it. There's a bunch of rocks that won't settle to the bottom. It's almost like there's a wire mesh a quarter inch under the surface. My money don't jiggle jiggle. It kind of worked. Ah. Oh. That was a lot smaller than we meant it to be, about 3.4 millimeters or 1.3 inches. So we're gonna try it a little bigger. It's definitely more rigid than the tile was. It's moving though. Okay. 
Got a little flex here. Hopefully we can get a little more than that. Ah, ah, stretchy. That's a little more like what we were going for. Let's see. Uh-oh. Not too bad, eh? Uh, okay, seemed like it was a little too thin still. So we scaled it up to 1.5 times and hopefully that'll make it better because I think two times is a little too much. Two times is too much. Here we go, the big moment. Ooh, that's working real well. Side note, the water got all weird and bubbly from the concrete. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Um, kitty cat footing around over here. Cause I'm a little nervous it's gonna break in two seconds. Eh, pretty neat, eh? Don't wanna do it too much cause I can tell it's straining it. Ooh, ooh, that's nice. Uh, uh. <laughs> This is first time in history concrete has ever been flexible. I think engineers would have a word with you. I think they should. NASA wants to know your location. <laughs> oh, that's neat, eh? Ooh, that is a good representation of it. Spirals are the best. Spirals, science Spirals. rules. just not a homogenous thing. So it breaks easier. And you uh, know how we like those homogenous things. The metal's keeping it together well enough that we can play with it instead of having it just completely fall apart on us. So that's a plus. Those biceps are a nice plus too. Oh. <laughs> Craig, come check this out. Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> if you wanna see us do the same thing with tile, click here, glass. Click here. If you want to see what YouTube thinks you should watch, click on my face. Wow, is there? Do you have a drone flying your camera? Holy cow.